Hi folks, we're going to take a look at page 240, number uh, 2, B and C. Uh, so here we have derivatives that include exponential functions. And in this first one, we're going to have to use the product rule because we've got x times this function here, which includes a uh, an exponential function. And here we're going to have to use the quotient rule. So let's start with this one here. So I'm just going to follow my uh, product rule. It tells me to take the derivative of the first function. So derivative of x is just 1, okay, times the uh, second function, so 3 to the x squared, plus my first function x times the derivative of the second function. And this is where I need to do a little bit of work because I'm going to have to use a chain rule here. All right. So here, think of your x squared as your u. So what's the derivative of uh, 3 to the u is just 3 to the u. So 3 to the x squared ln 3. Okay, and then I have to multiply that by the derivative of u with respect to x, which is 2x. All right, so again, remember the formula for the derivative of an exponential function is just itself times the logarithm, natural logarithm of the base. So here, derivative of 3 to the u is just 3 to the u times natural logarithm of the base, which is 3. And then, of course, you have to multiply by the derivative of the inside function. So you could clean this up, but we'll say for this one here, we don't need to um, simplify. Okay, although if you did, you'd probably just want to, actually here, let's simplify. I would factor out the three to the x squared, okay, which is common to both. And then let's see what we're left with. We're left with one plus, all right, and here, well, let's get the constants. So we have two ln three, okay, and then we've got, x times x, x squared. All right, and that's about as simplified as you could get. You could, of course, use the ski slope rule to write this set as ln of 9 if you wanted to. All right, let's take a look at this one here. So we're going to have to use the quotient rule, but because we just have 2 to the t, we're not going to need to use the chain rule on this one here. So derivative of the numerator function is, again, just itself, 2 to the t times ln of the base, which is 2. All right times the denominator function, which is, just, which is just t, and then minus the numerator function, 2 to the t, times the derivative of the denominator function, which is just 1, all over the denominator squared. Okay, and again, if we did want to simplify this, you look for that common factor of 2 to the t. So anytime you're taking derivatives of exponential functions, you know the function is going to show up a second time. So 2 to the t, and let's see what we're left with here. Well, it looks like we're just left with uh, ln of 2 times t, and then here just minus 1 all over t squared. And that's about as simple as we can get it. All right, that's it for these.